Hey guys, welcome back to another video on this channel. So, um, you might have seen my community post about me doing re planning my channel and this is going to be the first video about making games in roblox studio so this is a part of roblox studio tutorials so in this video i'll be showing you guys how to make a roblox game for a complete beginner so um yes this is 100 percent new and it has no robux so if you're also new to roblox studio you can just follow my steps so First of all, you gotta go to create and yeah, you can see the start creating button or you can just go to your computer and open Roblox Studio. So first of all, we gotta log into our account. I'm not really sure if it auto logins, but yeah, I'll just log in. Okay guys, so we are at Roblox Studio right now and it should give you some options of your game templates theme and gameplay so you will automatically have a place so before you start any game you can explore your own place because it gives you a lot of tips of making games and of course there's no reason or archives so um, first of all you gotta have an idea of what game to make so I would try a simple one for an example and I think I'll try an obby. Okay, so this is a game template. You don't have to actually um, get a template. You can just build it from zero. So this obby is pretty much already built and already functional. So if we click play, We will already be in the game so this game is r15 so we're just gonna jump the obby is pretty boring because we haven't edited and made changes to it okay so you're if you're totally new and you don't know anything you don't know anything at all wasd is to move like w front w front s back E up, Q down, A left, D right. Yeah, that's it. And then you use the right of the mouse to just rotate. And you can use shift to go slower. And yeah, th those are the controls. And if you go to the top panels right here, you will have a bunch of confusing things. So let's just grab a block. Okay, so we've currently had the select part. So copy is to copy, cut is to cut, cut is when you remove the item and then you can paste it again to somewhere else, and copy is to copy the item and you can place the item somewhere else using paste without having to remove the initial item. And duplicate is duplicate. So we have got the move one. The scale you can just make it big or make it small. We've got rotate, and you can press Control Z to undo and any everything, so it's back to normal. And this editor is where you can add terrains. That also deserves a video itself. And this is the toolbox. If this is already selected, and the toolbox is basically these things the part is where you install part you can actually choose a block or sphere or wedge or cylinder if we try a sphere then it will spawn a sphere we can change it to select to move it around okay that's an example and ui is for the things on the screen so you can just put a screen gui and that also deserves a video itself too because it's really complicated and material is where you can change the object make sure the object is selected 
and then um, you can change the material to neon you can change the color to red that's for customization and the lock is to lock it so you won't be able to grab it while doing so yeah i can't click it because it's locked but if you want to click it again i have to select it in the explorer and unlock it and anchor is so it doesn't move when we play it because if we don't anchor we will be able to move this item and just kick it off and if we anchor it it won't be able to move it's fixed right at its place so those and these are the game settings this is play you can play here you can run if there's any scripts you want to run play is to casually play it with your character in it and play here is just to see it functioning from here or the exact part that we are at so we don't have to go back to the spawn and stop and these are the game settings you will need to publish the game to access the game settings and this is the model so we've got this select move scale rotate transform so transform is pretty much like some some uh advanced version of select move skill rotate and collisions i just forgot what was that collisions if i'm not mistaken it m doesn't make whether it's enabled or enabled it makes you able to collide with the item or not collide with the item and rotate this rotate and move affects to these buttons so for example, I select this part, and if I rotate it, it rotates smoothly, smoothly, but if I tick this, it will rotate, it will rotate in like boxes, like only, only 90 degrees. Same goes with moves, so you can actually change it if you want accurate rotations and accurate movements. So this is a line tool to align parts. This is a parts all the same and blah blah blah. This is for the test. You can change the device right here. So this is an iPad. Uh, this is a f I f iPhone 4S. It, it like simulates how people will play the game in other devices. So this is desktop. Uh, yes, it's pretty big. Console, it's bigger. iPhone 6. And yeah, we can enable it by clicking this button right here. And this is view. So view is all of the control panel. So if we unselect explorer and properties, we won't have anything here and explore and properties are the most important things that you will definitely need and toolbox you will need it if you need to import anything here but 90% you will need it so asset manager object browsers output script all of those deserve another video so these are the plugins so um, this is where you will import some plugins in order to make your game making easier.